Hi everyone. I decided that I had a couple ideas for Valentine's Day makeup tutorials, so I figured what the heck, why not do them. Um, one is for a pink tutorial, and the other is not for red like you might expect, but for rose. Um, just because I'm so pale, red tends to look pretty severe on me. Rose is almost red, but not quite and it's a little bit softer, a little bit more romantic. Um, and I think these tutorials would work well for either for a date or if you're hanging out with family and friends, because as far as I'm concerned, um, Valentine's Day is for all kinds of love, not just romantic love, but obviously not everyone <laughs> agrees with me on that. Um, before I forget to mention this, I think this is a really cute perfume to use for Valentine's Day. It's from Geek Chic Cosmetics. Um, it comes in this little tube. It looks like chapstick. It's a solid perfume. Um, it's called Love Twu Love. And if you're familiar with The Princess Bride, that probably sounds familiar to you. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a fruity floral. Anyways, it's it smells very nice. I think it's really cute, and the, the packaging is cute. It has the outline of the main characters, and I love that movie. Anyways, I already did my lips, as you can tell, because otherwise I would have to sit here with my mouth hanging open and not be able to talk for a few minutes because I used one of those formulas that are supposed to like last a long time. Um, and you can eat with them on. It's by CoverGirl, which you can't see past this sticker because I have it reduced. It was right before they changed the formula. I don't know about the current formula, but um, this formula works nice. The only problem with CoverGirl is the fact that they're not cruelty free. Obviously, I got this before I realized so many brands test on animals. Um, this one is called Dusty Rose. It's not really what I would think of as Dusty Rose, because I think of Dusty Rose as being more mauve, and this is definitely a really dark pink, almost a red, but I guess since, you know, rose, it makes sense, but I do tend to think of Dusty Rose as being a lighter mauve color. Um, so I already have that on, that's what that looks like. It's not really true to color on the camera as... I've never quite gotten the lighting right, but you get the idea. So, for cheeks, I'm also using a CoverGirl blush. It's called All Natural Rose. And again, I this is discontinued, um, but I probably wouldn't recommend it anyways because it's not cruelty free. So I'm just going to brush a little bit of this on my cheeks, just a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. I just want a little bit of color. I don't want it to be real dark. Now on to eyes, which I am keeping pretty neutral because the lips are so dark. It's um, I heard a rule once that said that you should sort of um, keep your eyes neutral if you're doing a pretty bold lip or vice versa. I don't know if that's um, actually the case, but that's the rule I follow. Okay, so here I have to take off my glasses because I can't really put on eyeshadow that way. I'm using, this is discontinued too, but you can really use any um, neutral eyeshadow you want. Um, Novu Neutrals, at least I think it's discontinued because I haven't seen it on their website. But I'm going to use this light beige color all over my lid. Oh, and I forgot to mention at the beginning, um, I did already do like my base, um, primer, concealer, all of that, just to cut down on time.
and um, my eyes are slightly downturned at the edges um, not enough that you can probably tell but when I take this sort of mid-tone brown which you're probably thinking oh crease color I'm actually going to instead of putting it in my crease I'm actually going to um, start kind of the last third of my lid and sweep it upwards try to get the a little bit of lift right there and it's a little bit darker than my all over color but not so much so that it's going to be dramatic because we're going for low drama Now, normally, uh, I'd probably stop there, but since this is for a holiday look and a lot of times we want to be a little bit more dressed up for Valentine's Day, I'm going to take this, it's kind of like a khaki gray color almost. You could use um, like a brine, brown um, eyeliner, however you prefer to do it but I like to use eyeshadow. It's softer. I feel like I can get it. I think they call this tight lining. I don't know. It's kind of the impression I get. I don't like a thick line if I do eyeliner. Smush it into right above my eyelashes. Mascara, I'm using one for redheads actually, even though I'm not a redhead. It's from a brand just for redheads. Um, that's actually the name of it. Uh, the name of the shade is Ginger Cocoa. I don't personally like black mascara because I think it's too severe on me. I'm very, very pale. But also, I'm using a lighter shade of mascara helps keep things soft and more romantic, I guess, in my opinion. my nose. The danger to doing your eyes first and no, the danger to doing everything else first and then your eyes. Okay. So there is the finished look. Like I said, it's um, it's a little bit dressy dressed up. Um, not over the top though, um, and I, like I said, I think it's appropriate for both a date or family time, friend time, who, whichever loved ones you're spending time with on Valentine's Day. And keep an eye out, I will hopefully be doing the pink one, um, soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.